I got invited to an event and I was watching Bukin's movie with Bukin in the movie theater. It's been about 10 months since I moved to Bangkok now and I want to give you like a mini update slash how I've changed because I feel like coming to Thailand, it changed me a lot as a person. This might be you in the future if you decide to move to Thailand. The first six months was a lot of excitement, like everything was new to me. But after the first six months, that excitement kind of fades away. Everything becomes normal to you. The things that shook me before, it doesn't shook me anymore. Actually, the first six months that I was here, I spent quite a bit of money because everything was new to me. Me, so I want to try a lot of things but now that I've settled down my expense has been going down because I don't use as much money anymore on things that I've already seen how did I end up here you might ask so let me give you a timeline I will insert it here never really had any interaction with Thailand or Thai people I only knew one student from my senior year of high school she was an exchange student from Bangkok didn't really know much about Thailand but four years ago I started watching Thai BL series. My first series was Together the Series, Paul Lao Kugan. My phase of watching Thai BL series led to my first trip to Bangkok in November 2022. Hearing something that I'm familiar with. My initial attention of coming to this city is because I want to visit the Thai series filming locations like Phuket Old Town, Prom Tap Cape, which is where I told Sunset About You was filmed. I also went to the university where they filmed together the series. It's nearest Wanapum Airport, so a little bit far, but I went with Leon. The first time I came to Bangkok, I felt really homey. November 2022 was my first time ever coming to Thailand, and I actually vlogged about it. And I remember the day I left Suvanapum, I was so sad because I didn't want to go back to the life that I came from. For like a little bit of background, I came from a small town in the Midwest with five to six thousand people. It was white populated, so we're like the only Asian family. Pretty much all I did was like stay home. I didn't really hang out with anyone. It was only like one or two hangouts a month. I am quite introverted to begin with. I feel like I thrive when I'm alone, like in my room, basically, like, like this right now. First trip to Thailand, I did come alone, but it wasn't my first time solo traveling. Even though I was really happy, I was lonely. And I feel like Bangkok is not the type of city where you want to come alone. Not about the safety. Bangkok is the type of city where you come with groups of people, like friends or family. But if you come alone, you will feel extra lonely because you always see people in groups. But anyway, my first trip in Thailand, I came alone. One of my first friends in Thailand is Leon, who you see in the videos. She's Burmese, but she was studying at university at the time. We met on Instagram DM because we both like to watch BL series. And before I came on this trip, I was like, I am coming, so let's hang out. Eventually, I had to leave. I went back to my home in the Midwest, in the US. Every day, I thought to myself, that's not the life that I want to live. Three months later, I left again. I booked a one-way flight to Taiwan. Actually, I made a stop in Toronto first so it was like US to Toronto to Taipei and I was solo traveling for two and a half months one month in Taiwan two weeks in Japan and one month in Hong Kong during those two and a half months I felt really lonely I feel like it's pretty normal if you solo travel you will experience loneliness the good thing is that I'm quite introverted so it didn't throw me off that much it's the idea that everyone you meet during your solo travel has their own life and that they come and go but I had a hard time letting go back in the day but now I'm a little bit better because I'm settled down in Bangkok now. The thing about solo traveling is that it made me realize I want a home base. For me, that home base, I want it to be Bangkok. Out of all the places I went to, I feel the most happy in Thailand. And that is why I am here now. There's actually two more months on my lease before I move out of this condo. When I left home, I didn't leave anything behind. I only brought one backpack and one carry-on luggage. My room in the US is pretty much empty. Kind of a minimalist in general. Not that extreme, but it's more about keeping the things that you need and I feel like you don't need a lot of things in life. The less things you have, the more free you will feel and the more likely that you will do things that change because there's less stuff tying you down. The thing is, when I first arrived in Bangkok, I stayed two weeks in a hotel in Asok called Juno Hotel. I walked by it a few times, but every time I walk by it, it triggers bad memories because the first two weeks I was in Bangkok, it was a struggling phase of my life because I didn't know what to do and how I'm gonna stay here longer. It triggers some bad memories of me staying at the hotel and I actually don't like staying in hotels in general because I feel dirty. The only place that I feel clean in is like my 
place, aka my condo. Let me tell you a story. A lot of you guys might know Mike Yu on TikTok. So I met him in the end of August 2023 because I applied to be his video editor. But I ended up not being his video editor because I rather focus on my own videos. A few weeks after we met, he got invited to the M Choice Award. He invited me to go with him because he knows that I really like Thai actors and Thai series. Let me give you a little bit of tea. So at that time, I was actually jealous of Mike because he was where I wanted to be in life at that time. He got invited to the event and the wristband that they gave us had his name on it. That night, I was actually looking at the wristband. Like next time I come here, it'll be my name. And you gotta know that when you're jealous of someone or something, it's because you desire it as well. But if I can get it myself, then I don't have to be jealous of anyone. So that night I went home and I wrote in my journal that I also wanna get invited to an event. That was in middle of September. Recently, like one week ago, I got invited to the Lan Ma premiere gala. I saw Bukin from afar. He didn't see me, but I saw him. It's called premiere gala, but it's actually not as dramatic as you think. It wasn't that formal, it's just a name. The movie will be in theater is April 4th, but that day that we went was April 1st. It's the idea that I got invited to an event and I was watching Bukin's movie with Bukin in the movie theater. I'm not saying this to show off. I just want to prove that if you really want something, you will find a way to get it, which is also how I got here because I really want to be in Bangkok and I love Thailand. So that's why I made it happen. I was once a fangirl sitting in my room, sitting behind the computer screen, watching all these series. Actually, Mike... I was once really jealous of him, but he was the one that told me to make a TikTok account. My TikTok, it started from zero. I have a screenshot of the day that I make the account. And today it's about 52,000 followers. Why these numbers are important to me is because it's kind of like data. The reason why I want a certain number of following is because higher number equals higher pay. But I know at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. And in reality, I'm just me by myself talking to a camera. Some people are judging the crap out of me behind this camera, but I don't care because they're not going to say in my face and I don't know about it and if I don't know about it then we're good. I can always edit it to the way that I want you guys to perceive me. That's why I like editing. 1am and I'm trying to edit this video but if I don't plug in my MacBook it's gonna sleep. You know how people say like your environment affects you? I don't want to blame anything on environment, but I think it's true because in Thailand or Bangkok specifically, everyone is really chill, laid back, and happy. That's why I moved here. I feel like moving here, I became happier. Like everything that I want in life, I can get here. There's IKEA, so I bought this blanket and this duvet cover, and this is the blanket that I have in my home in the US. I call this my home actually. When I say home, I mean like this condo. So I live with my parents my whole life until I move here. But the reason why I didn't like living with them is because I want things my way. When to do dishes, when to throw the trash away. Little things like this, day-to-day -day life, I want it to be my way. The freedom of choice? I change a lot, but I really like the person that I am becoming. I think you can see it, like I've been more happy, I've been more confident, and my confidence come from knowing what I want to do in life and knowing that everything that I do every day aligns with where I want to go. I've never worked a corporate job in my life and I don't plan on doing so. Anyway, I will see you in another video. I hope you like this.